The Vineland Research and Innovation Center held a press conference to celebrate the construction phase of their new pre-commercial greenhouse. Well, it's a greenhouse that's at commercial scale, and the research that goes on within the greenhouse is just in that space between research and commercialization. So the next step from the work that gets done in there is goes out into someone's commercial greenhouse. And what features will this greenhouse have? Well, uh, some of the features are those that make it commercial. So it's on the vegetable portion of the house, it's seven meters at the gutter, so that's the uh, at the roof line. So it's very tall, just like a commercial vegetable greenhouse. It's got very large compartments, like a commercial greenhouse. It's uh, got standard, what's called a Fenlo design. And then inside of it are uh, bunches of large compartments to allow us to subset our research into vegetables and flowers and tomatoes and cucumbers and, and that kind of thing. And what sort of research will take place in this facility? Well, so uh, on the broad scale, there's two sides to it. There's uh, ornamental, so flower research. So a lot of that is biological control. How do we control insects without using pesticides in the greenhouse? And on the other side, we do a lot of vegetable work, and a lot of that's focused on tomatoes. So disease resistance, uh, quality, uh, those kinds of things. Minister Leal, what does today's announcement mean to the province of Ontario? Well, it's so important. Uh, the agri-food sector, the province of Ontario, represents uh, uh, $34 billion of GDP to Ontario's economy. Uh, it rivals the auto sector in terms of importance. It also employs over 740,000 Ontarians each and every day. It's a major driver of job creation and innovation. And the $10 million investment we're doing right here uh, for a greenhouse uh, research operation is going to be very important to the future both of flowers in Ontario and the uh, fruits and vegetables that are growing in our greenhouse sector. And it will allow Ontarians uh, to get freshly grown produce 365 days of the year, which is so very important. And it really piggybacks on our local food act where more and more people are want to buy products that are locally grown. And we do know that uh, foods grown in Ontario are the very best in the world. Why does the government feel it's important to invest in the Vineland Research and Innovation Centre? Innovation is going to be uh, key uh, to growth in our economy. Uh, Premier Wind has put a challenge out to the agri-food sector uh, to create 120,000 new jobs by 2020. And ways the best way you could do that is through research and innovation, uh, creating no, new park, uh, products uh, to get in the marketplace, which drives uh, consumer acceptance and creates new jobs. That's what it's all about. And always remember, good things grow in Ontario. And how long will the construction take place? It should be going on until about the end of May of 2015, so for another few months. And why is the greenhouse important to the agricultural industry of Niagara? Well, because, uh, of course, the greenhouse business in Niagara is really quite large. It's almost $300 million a year worth of farm gate value, so it's a significant uh, uh, business. And, of course, it's very technology intensive, so they need new technology, they need innovation and all of those things, and this greenhouse provides that. So you need to do an experiment, answer a question, we can do that. That allows them to stay competitive, right, to keep moving ahead and stay ahead of the rest of the world. It also has a greenhouse and, and, and similar technology. Once completed, the pre-commercial greenhouse will be the largest facility of its kind in Canada. In Vineland Reporting for the Source, I'm Nora Jean Howard.